Hello, class. Good evening. How are you? Good, thanks. That is... Now you listen to me better, right? Yes? Yes. Okay, let's get this started then. I'm going to start presenting my PPT to you, class. Okay, as every single day while the others join. Do you see my screen? No, you don't. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Okay. Today is my May the 4th, 2023. Is that correct? Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, and here we go. This is our agenda, greetings, feedback, objectives to identify the use of how many and how much. Yes. Uh, hey, hold it. This is not... This is not yours. I'm so sorry, but uh, okay, hold it. <laughs> we better go over the the manual okay, over here because I have too many uh, windows open, and I was thinking about my class at night. Okay, so today we're going to talk about what are you doing and the time. Okay, the time zone. We're going to practice a conversation because we began this conversation last class. If you remember, do you remember class? Yes. Hello. Do you remember yes. that we began to practice this conversation and it is in relation to the time zones. Okay. So hello, Miss Elvia. Hello. Hello. Okay. I'm going to open up right here, hold it. I think this is yours. Okay. And I'm going to uh, tell you about the platform, okay? You're working the platform. And here we go. Okay, class. I'm going to share my screen with you over here and here, okay? Uh, the objective for today is that at the end of this class, you will be able to ask and answer questions using expressions and practice giving the time. And here we go, okay? Let's get started because you know time flies in this class. So the vocabulary and conversation, what time is it, yeah? Here we go. I'm going to start sharing with you. And you tell me if you listen. But I'm going to verify if I'm sharing the sound too. Otherwise, yes, I'm sharing the sound. So let's get this started over here. And here we go. Now, now it's your time to practice the conversation that we just heard. And also, I would like for you to answer the following questions in our discussion forums. By looking at the map, which cities are in the same time zone? Which cities are in your time zone? Okay. And here, we say, we go over the question, okay? Here. What time is it? What time is in your... Uh, so, what time is it right now, class? What time is it? Can you tell it's me the time in English? It's, it's 3 03. Excellent. PM. Very well. It's 3 03. Excellent. Very well. So, now we continue. And later we're going to move to the practice. Yeah. Here we go to the lesson objective and it is that by the end of this class you will be able to ask and answer questions using time expressions and practicing the time so let's go over with the question what time is it here hi everyone 
In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer questions using time expressions. Let's get started by looking at some clocks which are expressing the time. Let's listen and repeat. It's one o'clock. It's one o'clock. It's one o five. You have it's hey, five class, one You have to repeat. Okay, I'm going to play it from the beginning, but you have to repeat because that is the instruction. Listen and repeat. Time expressions. Let's get started by looking at some clocks which are expressing the time. Let's listen and repeat. It's one o'clock. It's, it's one o'clock. It's five after one. It's, it's five one after fifteen. one. It's a quarter it's after one. one. Fifteen. It's a it's quarter one thirty. after one. It's, it's one thirty. thirty. It's, it's one twenty to two. It's twenty to two. It's one forty-five. It's one it's a quarter forty-five. One forty-five. Now, it's a quarter what to two. What we're going to do is make our own example yeah. by changing the time on those clocks. I'm going to change the time for each and express a different time. Let's do it. Instead of one o'clock, we will say two. Notice mm -hmm. that the only thing that we will change is the number for now. It's two o'clock. For our uh, next example, it's 2.05. After that, it's 2.15. Then it's 2.30 or it's half past two. Next, it's 2.40 or it's 20 to three. Our last example, it's a quarter to three or it's 2.45. I would like for you to express the time now. I will give you the numbers and you should write the time. Now I would like to go over some time expressions. Let's listen and repeat. In the morning, a.m. In the morning, noon, a.m. p.m. In the afternoon, in, in the afternoon, p.m. In the, in the evening. evening, in the evening, p.m. At night, at night, at night, p.m. At midnight. At midnight. At midnight. Let's uh, practice these time expressions now. Let's listen and repeat. It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's, it's seven a.m. It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's twelve o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's 12 p.m. It's, 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 it's noon. It's noon. Four o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's 12 midnight. It's midnight. cover how to express the time in different ways. It's important that you learn all those different ways to express the time. What I would like for you to do now is to practice expressing the time in different ways. I'll write the expressions and you should work on expressing the time in a different way. For example, it's nine o'clock in the evening. Another way to express this is by saying it's 9 p.m. Now I would like for you to change these expressions in a different way. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 3 in the afternoon. It's 3 a.m. It's 6 p.m. It's 4 p.m. It's 12 p.m. Okay. So now what we are going to do in our manual is what the presenter required from you to do, okay? In the manual, and here we go. And here, he said that you're going to change the time, for instance, only the hour. Here, if, we, if it is, it's one o'clock. What are we going to write? It's two o'clock. It's two o'clock. It's two o'clock. Okay. Very well. Now in the next one, if it's one o five, it should be it's two o five. 
It's okay. two or five. No. Ah, yes, because only the hour. It's two or five. Oh, five. Yes, it's two or yes. five. And so on. Okay, so you continue with the following exercise uh, here, two, 15, and here, 2, 30, and so on. But later, you're going to go over this other exercise. Look at these clocks. What time is it? It's 20 after 2 or it's 2.20. If I ask you in the second one, in number 2 class, what time is it? Tell me the time. It's? It's, it's 10 it, to 7. It's? 10 to 7. 10 to 7. Okay. Or? 6.50. 6.50 or um, it's 6.50, yeah? And that's it, okay? You're going to go over and you practice this. You have to practice writing the different ways to say the time, yeah? And uh, we're going to go over this exercise and this one. Is that okay? Yes? Okay. Okay, I'm going to transfer you to the breakout room so you can discuss and later we come back. When we come back, I'm going to call your names, okay? One by one in order to take your attendance. Here we go. Time to practice. Okay, here. But everybody practicing, please, okay? And then I'm going to open the breakout rooms. Go to your groups, please. Join your groups. And let's begin the practice. Okay. Jonathan Alberto, go to your group, please. Group number one. Jonathan. Hello, Jonathan Alberto. Jonathan, hello, Jonathan, do you listen to me? Jonathan, I need you in group number one, please. Okay, let's begin the practice. Hi, Jonathan, you're here. And I was calling Jonathan, Jonathan, and he's here. You may share the screen if you want to, okay? If you feel more comfortable with that. Fifty or uh, ten, ten to seven. Yes, zero is right. ¿Cuál página es? Es la treinta y uno, treinta y dos, Sigan. Ok. Sí, sí, está bien. Ah, vaya, llegó, ahí yo. Eh, en la. What time is it? Cuatro. In the number four, Paula. Number four. 
it is um, one and sixty five. No. Oh, Go I can see. Eleven. I can see. Eleven is. Eleven, and I can see. Uh, the image. La imagen se ve borrosa. Eh, um, it's oh, five. Or eleven after five. No. Sí, verdad. Eleven after five. five. No. Five after eleven. No. Five after. Ah, sí, verdad. Pasan cinco de las once. Exactamente, sí. Y cuando dice, digamos que diga, ah, bueno, sí, es verdad, 11 o 5, la once es 05. Así es. En, en la. En la 1, ¿qué hora es? 2.20. It's 2.20. Or 20 past 2. En la 1. Yes. Oh, uh, that's the that example. You say it's 20 after 2. The 2. Ajá, uh -huh, ok. Ah, sí, verdad, el, el, el ejemplo. Eh, y en la en la dos son, ah, no, en la dos ya la dije. Yes. No ¿Puede, pa Paula? Hola. ¿Puede? Es que se ve borrosa la se imagen. Borrosa la imagen. Ve, ajá, no la veo bien. Sí, es que tienes razón. Y usted no puede compartir pantalla, Max. Fíjate que yo la tengo en la, como yo me conecto en el teléfono y en la computadora. La ah, tengo. Y sí, yo no puedo porque en otro teléfono tengo el manual y me conecto del teléfono. Mm, qué buena idea. <risa> al máximo. Dígame dónde está la aguja grande y la pequeña. Eh, la, la aguja grande está en el 3. Bueno, la pequeña está en el 3 y la grande también está en el 3. ¿Las dos están en el 3? Yes. Uh, entonces, it is 3 um, fixing. Yes. In the order. In no, the order. Hagamos así. Eh, en, el, en la 3 va este se la vamos a decir en español y ustedes la dicen en inglés no le parece buena idea también también pues en español la idea es que la digan en inglés pero... uh -huh. entonces va digamos díganos las 6 en las 6 son las las 4 4 30 entonces it is 4 uh, en 30 Sí, 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 sí. En the other option. En the other option, it is... Um, um, it's 4... Sí. And... No, no, I don't know. Tendría que decir eh, 30 pasan de las 4, ¿cómo sería? En la house. En la house. No, tre y media. treinta. Sí, cuatro. En la house. No, a house. no. A house. In a house. There are many ways to say. You may say, for example, it is uh, for, uh, let's imagine, it is for city. It is for and a half. It is 30, it's 30 minutes. Past four, yes. Ah. Uh, there are three ways, but it is uh, four and a half is correct. 
it's okay. Four and a half. Yes. Ah, yes. Four and a half. Okay. En el... ¿Cuántos son? En el... Ah, el tres es el que dijo Paula. Yes. Mm, bueno, ahorita el, dijo... El seis. El... Sí, pero antes le habíamos dicho que dijera el dos. Ahora voy a decir yo el cinco. El ¿Por cinco... No, ¿Por qué no nos imaginamos otro? Te voy a decir otro yo, Héctor. Ok, ok, está bien. La aguja pequeña está en el 10 y la grande está en el 7. En el 7. Mm, ok. Eh, ten. Ten. O. ¿Cómo sería? Pero. Ten. 20 after 2. Or 20. Ah. Ten. Chill 5. O. Or uh, 20, 25 to 11. That's a good one. Yes. Okay. Está bien, buena idea. Dígale una ya, Paula. La aguja pequeña está en el 5. Y la grande está en el 11. La aguja pequeña en el 5 y la grande en el 11. It is 5 en 11. And the other one. No. No. How do you say 11? No. Remember that it's 5 minutes. Your number. Ah, okay. La aguja pequeña es en el cinco, me dijiste. Yes, yes. Y la grande. In the eleven. En el once. Yes. Oh my goodness, es cierto. And it is five and sixty-five. That's right. That's right. And the other one would be uh, five to twelve. No. No. No five to sit. That's right. That's the one. Vaya, ahora una a Maximiliano. La aguja pequeña está en el uno. Y la grande está en el 5. It's 1.25. Or it's 25 past 1. Ok. Entonces, cuando dice after... Es no, después. Yo creo después que hay de. Una, después de. Y uh -huh. past, como dice, como diciendo... 25 pasan de la una. Exacto, también. Okay. Es como ir, puede variar la forma. Y de Ajá. hecho, si Ajá. ya pasas de los 30 minutos, lo normal no es que digas que pasan, por decir, decir algo, 35 minutos después de la una, sino que lo que decís es, digamos, así como la forma que vos utilizaste, 25 minutos antes de las 7. Por decir ya algo. faltan 25 para la... Ajá. Ajá. Ya pasaste de la mitad. Y... Ya, no refer... ajá, ajá. ya no te referís a la hora anterior, sino que te referís a la siguiente hora. Para que va a ser ya, digamos. Ajá, claro. Ajá. Y en punto es o'clock. 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 Eh, otra. Uh... Díganme otra a mí. Eh, la aguja pequeña está en el 4 y la aguja grande está en el 8. La aguja pequeña en el 4 y la aguja grande en el 8. Ok. 4, eh, 40. 
and or uh, twenty to five. Twenty to five. It's twenty to five. Okay. <laughs> Otra para Paula. <laughs> Eh, la aguja pequeña está pasadito el 6 y la grande está en el 7. La aguja pequeña en el 6 y la grande en el 7. And it will be the seed. Seed en 35. Yes. And the other one be um, 35 past six. Uh, two. Two. Yes. 35 Four. two. No. Two past. No. That, the, the, the answer that I will say is the correct one. It's 35 minutes past six. Six. Or another option would be it's 25 minutes to 7. 25 a la 7. Exacto. Okay. Ahora la Max, Max este, las dos agujas están en el 12. It's 12 o'clock. Sí. Uh, yes. Las dos en punto. Ok. Si se fijan, por ejemplo, en los ejemplos, cuando son las horas exactas, no tienen una segunda o tercera forma para poderlo decir, sino que it's one o'clock, it's two o'clock. That's the answer. So it's But, 20. Uh, may I, may right. I have uh, your attention? Only when it is. 12 o'clock during the day, you may say it's noon. noon. Cuando son las 12 en punto del mediodía, podemos decir it's noon, porque noon. eso es, es mediodía. Uh -huh. Exactas, las 12. It's 12 o'clock or it's noon. Lo mismo sucede a las 12 de la noche. It's 12 midnight or it's 12 or it's midnight, porque es exactamente la medianoche, las 0 horas. Sí, entonces en, eso, en esos dos sí tenemos excepción, pero de ahí por todo lo demás, it's two o'clock, it's five o'clock, y podemos decir it's three o'clock a.m., it's three o'clock p.m., ok, to establish the difference. ¿Está that okay? Make the reference of the time of the day. Yes, that's it. If it is in the morning or in the afternoon or at night, ok. Ok. Okay, sí. La tarde. Pero six c es it's six p.m. sería como en the evening porque creo que evening es como cuando ya está entre tarde ah. y todavía está claro como no está algo claro y oscuro. No pero que dice que ah. if, 12 of 6. Pero en 12, sí, yo creo que es noche. It's At noon. night. At ah? It's noon. At noon. The clock is for the clock. Por eso le digo. It's 3 p.m. It's 3 a.m. It's 3 It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. huh? It's 6 p.m. Ah. Number 6. It's a 6. I know. Huh? At six o'clock in the evening. Mm -hmm. It's four p.m. Number seven. 
¿Quién la compartió usted? ¿Ah? ¿No te la compartió? No, no the teacher. Ah, ah sí. Ahí está, <laughs> But we have one, two, three, four, five, six, ¿ok? Ah, ok. Uh -huh. pero, pero estábamos en la parte de, de los... This one. Es que practicamos. They each time in a different uh -huh. way. No, but listen, this time, this, this uh, picture or this one? O esta no, segunda no, no. Eso ya lo, supuestamente... Ah, this one. Te... This one. No, en no. este, en say this each one. time. Yes, in this one. Ah, ok, continue. Very well, good practice. <laughs> Vaya, Ay, dígalas todas usted, la, 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 de la B, de todas. Diga la primera, yo le digo la cinco. Y dice la segunda, yo le digo la seis. Vaya. No. It's, it's nine o'clock in the evening. It's nine p.m. Mm -hmm. It's three a.m. It's three o'clock. In the morning. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. It's 8 o'clock in the a.m. It's 6 p.m. It's 6 o'clock in the evening. It's 12, 12 o'clock at night. It's... Um, a 12 of... Ay, ya me va a besar. Parece de más de la pantalla. If no, if no va. Ah. If no. Ya estoy. Ah, sí. PM. If, if it is at night, you say it's midnight. It's midnight. Medianoche. Okay, like this. Uh, it's okay because for the day we say it's um, how can I say it's uh, noon, but for the night you say it's midnight. Medianoche. Sería yes. en it's 12 o'clock at night. Ah, yeah. It's, it's 12 midnight. Es medianoche. It's 12 p.m. It's midnight. Es medianoche. Midnight. Uh -huh. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 o'clock. Uh -huh. It's equals it's midnight. But if it is in the day, you say it's noon. Y en el día decimos it's, it's noon. Okay. De mediodía. Noon. Sí, al mediodía decimos esto, ¿ve? A las 12 del mediodía. Por aquí, por aquí. Acá está, miren, it's midnight, ¿ve? Midnight. Uh -huh. Ajá. Y acá it's noon. Acá lo tienen, miren. Uh -huh. I'm going to pero, show pero it to you. Pero son PM. No, uh -huh. it's noon ah, es la del día. Ah, es la del día. Es que el día. de AM, es que AM es entrar en la noche, pero ya está. Así <risa> no es. Son. No, es que esta, es que, oigan, esta midnight <risa> es medianoche, ¿verdad? Es las cero horas. Y acá mm, it's noon cierto. son las doce en punto, las doce del mediodía. ¿De acuerdo? Sí, Ajá. Ajá, y las dos son PM, pero esta es empezando porque es exactamente el mediodía y esta es uh -huh. las cero horas porque va a iniciar el otro día. El otro yes. día, ya okay. estamos en la cero, cero. Yes. <risa> zero Ajá. over zero. Ajá. Ok. Entonces, Elvia, ¿es it AM o PM? Sería buena esa, practicar esa. Vaya. Yo me quedé en it's if three in the afternoon, o sea que es if three. No sé dónde se queda usted. La cuatro. It's twelve, ah, uh, it's three in the afternoon, se quedó. If a three in p.m. Afternoon. Toca el ocho. Entonces yo diría, it's, it's midnight. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. La, bueno, sería la, la eight, la ocho. Pero ahí no es, it's noon. It's noon. Ay, sí, es cierto. 
Sí, porque tiene PM. Si tuviera a, a PM, a es cierto. Es no. Ajá. Vaya, entonces hoy dígame la de la 1 al del 1 al 4 y yo lo voy a decir del, del 5 al 8. Va. It's 9 o'clock in the evening. It's 9 p.m. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. Y si es la otra forma, dice it's 7 a.m. Entonces esa parte vamos a tener que tenerla ahí bien presente también cuando digamos la hora, especificar si es a.m. O PM, haciendo referencia si es en la mañana o si es en la tarde. That's sí, correct. Con... And Maximiliano Edgardo, would you uh, share page 31, please? Would you share play, page 31? ¿Podría compartirnos la página 31? Eh, dice que 31. como lo, yo lo tengo en, en la computadora, lo tengo abierto y en el uh -huh. teléfono es que es que Es que, es que lo clase. comparte. Ah, vaya, entonces Ajá. veamos. Eh, si gusta, me deja compartirles. Ok. okay. Ajá, para que lo vean más grandecito. Ajá. Ok. Ok, here we go. Veamos, hay algo que les quiero aclarar y estaba explicando en el otro equipo. ¿Verdad? Ok, here we go. Veamos. Esta parte ya la trabajaron, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, exercise A2, también el ejercicio A. ¿Esta de los relojitos? Sí. Yes. Ok, and this one also, right? Esta también, ¿verdad? Ya la leyeron. No, esa no la hemos leído. Ah, vaya. Entonces, acá les voy a aclarar, miren. Son las 12. If you say it's 12 o'clock, son las 12 en punto. Pero en lo que hacía referencia a su compañero, pues sí, son las 12 en punto. Son las 12 en punto del día o de la noche. Para establecer esa diferencia, como las dos son 12 p.m., ¿verdad? Eh, acá le han puesto a.m. Ya les voy a explicar por qué. Podemos decir it's noon. En las 12 en punto, it's noon. Es el mediodía, es mediodía que también lo decimos así en español, ¿sí o no? Sí. Y luego tenemos, para establecer la diferencia, las 12 en punto, pero en la noche. It's midnight, es medianoche, porque estas son las cero horas, porque le ponen AM, le ponen en la mañana, porque es la transición justa de un día al otro, que comienza la mañana, ¿sí o no? Entonces yes. podemos decir, como ustedes estaban haciendo énfasis en si es de, en la mañana, en la tarde o en la noche, AM o PM. Entonces, este es el parámetro. Noon, las 12 del mediodía, por eso decimos good afternoon. Luego comenzamos a decir, por ahí como las 3 y media, good evening, ¿sí? Entonces, hasta 12 midnight, hasta la medianoche, que ya decimos good morning otra vez, ¿sí? Veamos acá. It's 7 o'clock. Oh, really? Yes, 7 a.m. Para establecer la diferencia entre la mañana y la noche. Sí, era lo que decía su compañero, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces, sí. what, time, what time do you have lunch? At noon, ¿a qué horas almuerzas? A las 12 en punto, a 12 o'clock, or you say at noon, al mediodía. Sí, justo a esa hora es mi hora de almuerzo, ¿de acuerdo? De acuerdo. Ok. Teacher, yes. nosotros estábamos hablando, porque este digamos que es como el reloj normal, pero pudiéramos también, y, y de hecho hicimos unos ejemplos, tipo estilo hora militar, en lugar de decir it's 2 p.m., it's uh, 40, uh, 14, 14, 14 o'clock. ¿Es eso mm -hmm. correcto? It's what? 14. ¿Sí? No. Usted, no. Me dice, usted me dice la hora militar. Ajá. Ah, pero esa hora, sí, pero eso, sí, pero es la hora militar, solo ellos la usan. Porque ah. si usted le dice a cualquier mortal, it's for me, <risa> ah, what? No, no van a comprender. Eh, miren, parece mentira, pero es como cuando estamos dando las direcciones, que usted le dice a ah, eh, váyase cuatro cuadras a la izquierda y empieza la gente a la izquierda. 
sino que de la vuelta aquí, váyase para allá y vamos, ¿verdad? Entonces como que en otro idioma y aún hablando en español, sí, o váyase Ajá. por la vigésima calle oriente. ¿Y cuál es el oriente? Pues, ¿verdad? Si dice la hora militar, entonces por eso es que no nos enseñan a, a decir esa hora, pero usted lo puede decir, pero es usada por los militares o en el aeropuerto, ¿sí? Ajá. Pero sí es correcto, es aceptable. Pero imagínese, le dice a, a Héctor, what time is the class at 15? 15. Uy, empieza, ¿verdad? Contar. Entonces, no, at 3. At 3 p.m. it's easier, more understandable, más comprensible. Ajá. Ok. And the class, now that you have not gone through this, no han, no han hecho esta práctica. No. Vaya, no, lean no, no. esa y tienen que hacer esta otra. Y acá ya les tengo yo, mire. It's 12 p.m., it's midnight, porque acá está y acá está, ¿sí? Entonces van a leer esta y say each time in a different way. Se la dan ellos en una forma y usted la tiene que decir en otra manera, de otra manera, ¿sí? ¿De acuerdo? Ah, ok. Ok. Um, uh, see you later. See you later, teacher. Okay, later. I'm going to the other team. Ok. Sí, va, pero de ahora... Ajá, Vaya, veamos acá les comparto y continuamos con la práctica del the time ok, okay. So here, if I say Kevin Reese it's 8 o'clock in the morning another way to say it it's 8 o'clock in the morning number 2 it, it's 8 o'clock in the morning no, yes. but you say uh -huh. it, it's 8 o'clock p.m. A.M. It's A.A.M. Oh, ajá, ajá. It's 8 A.M. Ya se sobreentiende uh -huh. que son las 8 en punto. No, or no, it's no, eight, no. Or, ajá, sí, así es. It's 8 A.M. Now, Elvia, uh -huh. it's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12... Um, A.M. No, because it's 12 o'clock at night. Night es noche. It's midnight. Uh, mm -hmm. It's midnight. Porque como es la noche, es eh, midnight, ¿verdad? It's three in the afternoon. Uh, it's three p.m. That's okay. Very well. It's three p.m. Okay. Now I would like to listen to Kevin read... Uh, Is it a.m. or p.m.? Okay, over here. Okay. It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's seven a.m. Okay, you read these uh, phrases, please. Okay. It... Pero hoy está en la respuesta, ¿va? Sí, pero solo quiero que lo lea. Ah, <laughs> Practice reading. It, um, it's seven o'clock in the morning. Uh -huh. It's seven a.m. It's twelve o'clock. Uh -huh. It's It's 12 p.m. Uh -huh. uh, tengo que decir, it's noon también. ¿Sí? Yes, noon. yes, of course. Uh, it's, mm -hmm. it's four o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's seven o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's mm -hmm. 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. Okay, excellent, very well. Now, Elvia. It's seven o'clock in the morning, it's seven a.m. It's 12 o'clock, it's at 12 p.m., it's noon. It's, it's four o'clock in the afternoon, it's, it's four p.m. It's seven o'clock in the evening, it's at seven p.m. If ten o'clock at night, it's ten p.m. It's twelve o'clock at night, it's at uh, twelve a.m. It's midnight. Okay, it's midnight. Very well. Now I think we're going to move to the uh, main session room so we can continue. Okay, thank you. And I think that there is a strike today on my class. Creo que hubo huelga en mi clase ahora, verdad? Sí. Ah, por ahí me dijeron que algunos están haciendo horas extra. 
Sí, sí es verdad, hay bastante trabajo ahí, algunos pidieron que fuéramos a horas extras, pero algunos no fuimos. Ah, que Ajá. ok. No. <ríe> ok, here we go, let's get back. Okay, let's wait for the others to return. I'm going to call your names in order to take your attendance. Okay, class, here we go. But let me see who else is here. Jonathan is uh, still in the breakout room. Qué poquito sabemos eh, hoy. Ya, por eso les digo que como que fueron a hacer horas extra. Por eso Ay, que estaban comentando. Les pagaron. les pagaron hoy. Ah, payday. Hoy oh, ya sé que payday se van. <risa> Randín, ok. Brandon, absent. Uh, Carlos Daniel, Carlos Daniel, Solisto Bat, absent. Cristian Eleazar, absent. Douglas Ernesto, absent. Elvia, here. Present. Ok, Elvia is here. Giovanni Alberto, absent. absent. Héctor Jeremías, absent. Héctor. Estoy. Ah, sí, aquí está. Ok, como todos, absent, absent, absent. Qué barbaridad. Jerónimo Humberto, absent. Jonathan Alberto is here. Ok. Eh, vía, vía chat y answer. José Andrés, absent. José Ramón, sí. absent. José Ramón, oh my God. Kevin Arnoldo, absent. Aquí, aquí ¿Dónde, estoy. Ah, dice aquí. como solo Kevin Ruiz, dice yo Kevin Arnoldo. Ok, Loyal, que sí. the loyal ones. Sí, yo soy. <ríe> y ahora Marlon no Ariel, Marlon Ariel, absent. Marlon Alfonso Rivera Enríquez, absent. Maximiliano Edgardo, I'm here. Ok, great. Paula Guadalupe, she's here. Pauli. Always here. Uh, Roberto Antonio, absent. Samuel absent. Alexander, absent. Vanessa Sugei, absent. Oh my God. Okay, so here we go. Let's continue with our practice from the platform, okay? Okay. And here we go. This is the acknowledged test, yeah? Okay, over here, let's see. What time is it? It's 20 after 2 or it's 2.20? Yes? Yes or no, class? Yes, it is, correct? Yes, now. you are right. Here. Okay, and now, what time is it? In number two, what time is it? It's 10 to 7, it's 10.35. It's 6.50 or it's 20.50 to 11? Uh, 25 to 11. Which one? It's 10, it's 10 to 7. It's 10 to 7. And, and it's 6.50. It's 6.50. Those it's are the, the two that we use, okay? We generally use. So you are going to continue with this exercise as we have been practicing. Okay. Ese sería, ese sería la cuatro punto cuánto? El cinco punto cinco. Cinco punto cuatro, vaya. 
hágala en este momento, por favor, para que avance. Hay quienes ya lo terminaron, ¿verdad? Elvia ya lo terminó. Ya le digo que, ok, you too, eh, Maximiliano, ok, los otros chicos que lo hacen en este momento, ingresen y lo hacen. Y luego seguimos con el siguiente, ok. When you finish, you tell me, ok, guys. Ya lo tenía hecho. Ah, pues sí, pero ya lo, ya lo, ya lo realizó Héctor. Sí, are you, are you taking it? Héctor ya lo hizo. También. Sí, ya lo hizo también. Ah, great, excellent. So here I have, mire, quienes están acá ya terminaron la plataforma. Y los que no están ausentes, there is an arbitrariness in life. Hey, Hay arbitrariedad en la vida, ¿verdad? By the end of this class, you will be able to understand raising and falling intonation in yes, no questions and WH questions. Escuchemos el video. Cuando, uy, cuando les pidan que tienen que repetir, lo van a repetir, ¿ok? Ok. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn about rising and falling intonation in yes or no questions and WH questions. Let's get started by understanding intonation. Pitch is raising and lowering the tone of voice while speaking. The use of pitch is called intonation. Understanding English intonation will increase not only your spoken English competency, but your English comprehension as well. Intonation is used to convey meaning. For example, you have the same set of words in two separate sentences, but in one the meaning may be different than in the other due to intonation. In this class, we'll focus on yes or no questions and WH questions and how intonation gives meaning. Let's listen and practice. Notice the intonation of yes or no and WH questions. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? No. What's she doing? What are they doing? Well, there are many exceptions and rules to follow. In general, we can follow these two simple rules. For yes and no questions, there will be a rising intonation. For example, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? For WH questions, there will be a falling intonation. For example, what's she doing? What are they doing? This topic, along with all the other pronunciation topics, require careful listening and to practice. I would like for you to listen carefully to your favorite English TV program and notice the rising and falling intonation of yes or no questions and WH questions. Okay. Did you get it? Yes. Mm -hmm. I think so. You think so? Okay, now let's practice. And here we go. <clears throat> let's continue. Okay. But where is the falling intonation? Where is it? 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 Where is the falling intonation? I cannot find it in the in the manual. Ah, it is over here. So we are going to practice the conversation first, okay? And I think that maybe we have it in the in the platform, correct? So you can have a practice from the mm -hmm. it is only the audio. Okay. It is only the audio. So we're going to practice the intonation from the manual. And here we go. Okay. Okay. 
listen to the teacher. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Uh, why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza? Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Let's eat. Yeah? Hi, mom. When we say hi, hi. Yes, your voice goes up. You raise your, bo your voice. Elevamos la voz cuando decimos hi. Sí o no, por la naturaleza. Okay? Yes. Hi. Hi, mom. Y luego cae la pronunciación. Hi, mom. The intonation. What are you doing, Steve? What are you doing, Steve? Y acá se eleva el tono de nuevo. Steve, cuando decimos el nombre de la persona. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. No, I'm very hungry. Let's eat. Yeah, so uh, I need, uh, hmm. Elvia, you are going to be the mom. You have three children over here, four, five children. Okay, and also Paula. <laughs> uh, let's see, Elvia, you are going to be, you read the mom, and maybe Hector, you're going, Hector, Hermia, you're going to read Steve, okay? Let's begin. Okay. One, two, three. Yes. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I am cooking. Where are you cooking now? It's through a club in the morning. Well, I am really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Um, pizza? No, I am getting hungry. Let's eat. Okay, now, uh, Paula, Pauli, hello, Pauli. Hola. Okay, Pauli, you're going to read mom, and let's see, Edgar, Maximiliano Edgardo is going to read uh, Steve. Steve. Yes, okay. okay. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. What, where are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's, let's eat. Okay, hungry. Okay, hang hungry. Hungry. Es enojado. Hungry. <laughs> okay, hungry. Now hungry. listen. Your activity goes like this. Su actividad va como sigue. You are going to practice this conversation, okay? The same as it is, and you switch roles. E intercambian roles. Es decir, todos van a leer la misma conversación y todos los personajes, los dos personajes. But later, you are going to create your conversation. You say, for example, hi, mom, or hi, dad. What are you doing? Uh, and you say the name, for example, what are you doing? Uh, let's see, Andres. Let's imagine that Andres is here. What are you doing, Andres? Uh, and then I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's three or four o'clock in the morning. Yes. Or four o'clock in the evening. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Y ahí cambian el bocadillo que están haciendo. Uh, hamburger, chicken, uh, french fries, whatever. Okay. You use your imagination. Mmm, y repiten lo que está cocinando la persona. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Okay, you're going to create your conversation. Is it clear, class? Yes. 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 Okay, very well. So mm, everybody has the manual. Yes. Tienen el manual, verdad? Sí o no? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Ok, si no se los comparto una imagen ahí, porque veía que algunos la tenían así como un poquito, que borroso. se les desconfiguraba, ¿sí? Un poquito borroso. Sí, correcto. Vaya, entonces les voy a para que permitan. Sí. Un screenshot. Ajá. Okay. Veamos. 
Uy. Over here. Let me see if I can. Okay, great. There you are. You have it, okay? Can you see it in the WhatsApp? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes or no? Let me see. Yes. 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 Okay. Oh, yes. Now let's uh, move to the breakout rooms. And you know, you practice the first time as it is, and you switch roles. And later you use your imagination and you create your conversation, okay? Okay. okay. Here we go. Go to your groups. Okay. Okay. I sent you the invitation. Join your groups. Jonathan, your group is number one. Jonathan. Por... ¿Y qué va a cocinar? Démosle pues. ¿Y la comida que va a cocinar? Pues? Ah, vamos a comer. Uh, estoy cocinando en cooking. Eh... ¿Galleta? No. No, frío. Este. En cooking chicken, pollo. Yes. Okay. Bye. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? Um, Kevin. 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 I'm cooking. Where are you cooking you? It's uh, four o'clock in the evening. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. <laughs> Well, I'm really hungry. Muere de hambre. Well, I'm really making? hungry. What are you making? Oh, chicken. Mmm, chicken. No, he ate hungry. Let's eat. Bueno, usted va a ser mi papi. Mi <laughs> papi. Ay, por Dios. No me fue. Yeah. ¿Cómo? Ay, Dari. Ay, Dari, pues. Dígame, ay, Dari. Dari. Ay, Dari. Ay, Dari. Ok. Uh, what hi, are Daddy. you? What, what are you doing, Elvia? I am cooking. <laughs> what are you cooking now? It, it's 4 p.m. in the afternoon. Well, I am hungry. <laughs> <Está hambriento. laughs> 
what are you doing? what are you making what are you making hamburger <laughs> hamburger hamburger y para hacer la pronunciación correcta es hamburger o hamburger burger hamburger a hamburger a hamburger hamburger te digo hamburger dijo no ay hamburger <laughs> okay. Uh, hamburger. Um, hamburger. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Vaya otra vez entonces. Vamos otra vez. Démosle. Pero ¿cuáles ustedes están haciendo pollo? Chicken. Todo bien. Chicken, chicken roast. Chicken. Eh, no, voy a estar cocinando. Eh, ¿Qué puede estar? Sala, making sala, una ensalada. Uh -huh. ah, o este, o okay. que, con una fritura que a usted le guste. <risa> ¿Ah? um, <risa> ¿Ah? Nacho. Nacho. Eh, Max. I'm What cooking. are you doing? Doing. What, What are you are doing? Doing. Max. Yes. Hey, Max. Max. I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's to it's uh, six o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? I'm making fried chicken. <laughs> oh, yeah. Como fried chicken. Mmm. Mmm. Chicken. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. That's right. Damos una segunda vuelta y, y volvamos a cambiar lo que habíamos dicho que estábamos haciendo. Ok. Inici iniciaba. And also, you, and also, people, you may change the time. It's yes. 2 a.m. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Ok, very well. Héctor, comenzar. ¿Con quién? Con Pablo. Con Pablo. No, pero entonces que empiece ella porque hace rato yo le pregunté ahí. Ah, bueno, también. Ok, como quieras. <laughs> Hi, Héctor. Uh, what, pero. What are you doing? ¿Cómo dijo Paula? Doing. What are you doing? doing. Uh, doing. What are you doing, Paula? I'm cooking. What, why are you cooking now? It's to, it's... Uh, Seven o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? I'm making French fries. Mmm, ¿sabes qué es eso? <laughs> French fries. Eh, papa francesa. <laughs> ¿Y qué era eso? Papa francesa. Papa francesa. Ah, oh, bueno. ¿Cómo? Pero repítalo. French fries. <laughs> French fries. Now I am getting hungry. Let's eat. <laughs> Ahora. Ahora. And now. Eh, usted comenzó. Bueno, le voy a preguntar ya. Hi, Paula. Okay. What are you doing, Max? I'm cooking. What I, why are you cooking now? It's uh, three o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Cookies. Mm, cookies. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Okay. I'm 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 right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mark. ¿O quién empezó hace rato? Yes. No, 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 no. Yo empecé. 
No, yo empiezo. Hi, Max. Hola. What are you doing, Hector? I am cooking. Why are you cooking now? Um, it's two, eight, eight. Sorry, it's four o'clock in the evening. Well, I am really hungry. What are you making? Um, que... No me ocurre nada. Yuca frita. Yuca frita. <laughs> Vamos a ver. Arroz en leche, lo es. ¿Cómo sería? <risa> ¿Cómo sería en inglés? A ver. Eh, rice and milk. Ah, yes. Rice and milk. Rice and milk. Now I'm getting hungry. That's it. Ok. Y ahora lo repetimos así, normal. Pues vamos a hacer. ¿O ya es tú? No, aquí se trata de practicar lo más posible. Más que pueda, hasta que ya no, no regrese. Think, think. Think about what you're making. And let's, let's make another round. Ok. Hey, Paula. What are you doing, Max? I'm cooking. What are you, why are you cooking now? It's um, five o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Um, rice, fried rice. Yeah. Mm. Fried rice. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. ¿Qué es lo que dijiste, Max? ¿Qué hiciste? Arroz frito, creo que. Ah, yes. Ah, ok. Who is the next? Si quiere, empiece usted, Paul. Hi, Hector. What are you doing, Paula? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking out? It's uh, it's um, it's nine o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? I'm making coffee. Mmm, <laughs> coffee. Coffee. Now I am getting hungry. Let's eat. <laughs> Café okay, con pan. Hey, very well. Yeah, exactly <laughs> because of the time. <laughs> At this time, people in yes. El Salvador uh, like to have a cup of coffee and a piece of, uh, you know, biscuit yes. or a piece of uh, pastry. Una porción de pan. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's time to get back to the main session room. Congratulations for your practice. You did it very well. Okay. The Thank idea you, is thanks. to practice as much as possible because the work and the listening, you can do it at home, but not the practice speaking. Let's get back. Let's continue. Do you remember class that last class we were working with the present continuous? Yes. And do you remember what was the characteristic for the present continuous? ¿Se recuerdan cuál fue la característica para el presente continuo? ¿Cuál era? ¿Cómo formulábamos las oraciones en presente continuo o en presente progresivo? Yeah, el verbo le agregábamos el ING. Ok, muy bien. Entonces, si decimos Vamos a tratar de recordar, ¿verdad? Porque ya viene otro tema que está relacionado. 
And then here we go. I am cooking. Um, how can I say I'm cooking uh, pasta, for example? Yes. Yes. The question is, what are you doing? What uh, are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? La pregunta no sería es, making. No, en el, la pregunta es, what are you doing? Entonces, ¿qué estás haciendo? Es en general. Making, I am making, es cuando usted crea algo, ¿sí? Pero en, acá en general, what are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Y usted puede decir, I'm, I am cooking. Yo estoy cocinando. Por eso no, what, you, what are you making? Cuando ya estamos hablando ya, I am cooking. Y acá sí ya le puede decir, what are you making? Yes, porque ya sabemos que está elaborando. Ajá, uh -huh, understand. Vaya, ajá, pero el punto acá, miren, en la pregunta, what are you doing? Is an information question. Es una pregunta informativa. Estamos pidiendo información sobre algo, ¿sí? Entonces, no sabemos cuál es la respuesta. Por eso es que pedimos la información con ING. En este momento, if I say, Hector, what are you doing? Maximiliano, what are you doing? Y ellos me contestan lo que están haciendo. ¿Estamos claros ahí? Okay. Yes. Now, let's, I'm going to share the, okay, here, the manual. In the manual, you have the present continuous with WH questions. I need you to pay close attention, please. Necesito que presten atención. Y aquí vamos. I'm going to magnify it a little bit more. Okay, here. And then, grammar focus, the present continuous WH questions. Entonces tenemos el presente continuo, pero con las preguntas de información. What's Victoria doing? Okay. Yo les pregunto y ustedes me contestan. Acá tienen la respuesta. What's Victoria doing? She's, She's sleeping right, right, now. Now. right, right now. now. Why? Because the action is taking place at the moment that we are speaking. Is that correct? Yes. Porque le digo, ¿qué está haciendo? Y usted me dice, right now, en este momento, precisamente en este momento, ¿por qué? Porque, fíjense bien, uh, acá... Estamos enfatizando que justamente la acción se está realizando en ese momento, ¿de acuerdo? Uh -huh. She's sleeping right now. And then, what's Marcos doing? What's Marcos doing? It's, it's, it's 6 a.m. So, so he's getting up. He's getting up. He's getting up. Very well. In New York City, it's 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. breakfast. They are having breakfast. Very well. Now, in Brasilia, it's 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's, She's going, going to, work. To, work. to work. In London, it's 12 noon. What are James and Anne doing? It's, it's noon. It's noon. So, so they're, they're having lunch. 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 Okay, lunch. in Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's, He's working. working. He's working. In Bangkok, it's 7 p.m. What's Farmsack doing? He's eating dinner right now. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. television. What are you doing? It is your city. It is right now 4.19. What are you doing? It's, it's 4.19. 4.19. So, like, um, so I am taking my class. I am taking my English class. Yes? Or yes. I am in my English class. Very well. Now here, <laughs> we're going to ask and answer the questions about the pictures. Who's sleeping now? What's Celia wearing? Vamos a irnos a los breakout rooms. You are going to practice the reading of these questions and sentences. One of you ask, the other answers, okay? And okay. later you go over exercise A. Ask and answer the questions about the pictures. Van a hacer las preguntas y van a contestar esas mismas preguntas considerando la información que tienen acá, ¿verdad? Las imágenes. Porque es de acuerdo a las imágenes que ustedes ven. Por ejemplo, who's sleeping now? 
¿Quién está durmiendo en este momento? Victoria. Victoria is sleeping now and so on, ¿ya? Yeah? And what's Celia wearing? What's Marcos wearing? And so on. Is that okay? But the first activity okay. is that you read what you see here, the two sentences, the question and the answer. And later you answer these questions considering this information. And remember, we're working at page 33. Is that okay? Okay. Okay, okay let's go to the breakout rooms. Go to your groups, please. Go to your groups if you are so nice. Go, go, go to your groups. Jonathan Alberto, I need you in group number one, please. Group number one. Thank you. Eh, sería, vamos a practicar la progresión continua en las preguntas y después respondemos las de abajo de acuerdo a las imágenes. Le damos. Okay. Recuerda que somos un equipo. Obvio. Yes, always, forever and ever. <laughs> we are the best team. You and I, me and I, me and you, you and me, just She's the two my of us. Partner. Just the two of us. <laughs> yeah, because uh, Jonathan is a listener. I'm going to write listener. Well, well, yo, eh, ella me va a responder lo de abajo. Yo te voy a preguntar lo de arriba. What Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Uh, ah, pero espérate, se, pero se me olvidó Los Ángeles los 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Me habló otra vez, Mexico City, 6 a.m. ¿Ah? Bien, es a.m. porque es de la mañana. Ah, sí. Ah, sí. <ríe> Ay, como yo me acabo de levantar para mí es de mañana. Pues, <ríe> Mexico City, 6 a.m. A.M. What Marco doing? If 6 a.m. So he's getting up. Ahí está la teacher. She's getting up. She's, ¿verdad que get up es cuando se está, está, haciendo, la, está haciendo la acción de levantarse? Correct. Y cuando decimos eh, wake up, no, pues, es sería... cuando se despierta, no, Ajá. wake up cu cuando abre when, los the, ojos. when the ah. alarm clock makes you open your Ajá. eyes, cuando la alarma Ajá. le hace abrir los ojos, Ajá. wake up, Eso es wake up. Ajá. Ajá. en grave ya estamos levantando, no, porque se está getting up, Ajá. Okay. He's getting up. Eh, New York City, 7 a.m., what are su, o su hijo, su su what are su and tom doing they're having breakfast ah ya nos pusieron ahí it is su from su 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 and tom but brasilia 9 a.m what what Celia doing? She's going to work. Ahí la pronunciación correcta sería walk. Walk. Work. Work. Working or walking. Working uh -huh. or walking. What is she walking. doing? Okay. Let's see Celia. Uh, London. Ah, uh, she's work. Um, she's walking. going to work. She's walking. She's walking. Caminando. Okay. She's walking. Uh huh. No, es, eh, está yendo al trabajo. Yendo eh, al trabajo. Bueno, uh -huh. <coughs> uh, she's going to work. To work. Uh, pero. Ahí dice ella walk, pero my, cuando nos decimos, ya cuando nos referimos a job, estamos hablando del... She's working. 
Porque no puedes decir, sí. she's going my job. Uh, no, a, su, a mi trabajo no, porque va el de uh -huh. ella. Ajá. No, <risa> no, no, o sea. She, 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 my no. job, no. She's no. going to her work. She's going <coughs> to her work. Ok. London. 12 noon. Es la medianoche. No, es la, no, es la mañana, Epa. Mediodía. Mediodía. What are James and Annie doing? It's noon. So they have lunch. Moscú. 3 p.m. What Andre doing? She's working. Bangkok. <laughs> Banco, 7 p.m. What per March doing? <laughs> hey, Tim Diner Wing, now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Choose my Siri, your city. Serious, 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 serious. What are you doing? Sería usted? En su ciudad, your city. Sería ahí en la Chifurnia. What are you doing? I am with you. Estoy conversando contigo. ¿Cómo dijo? I am shaking with you. Bueno, no chatting, más chatting with you. Uh -huh. Estoy chateando contigo. Estoy chateando contigo. I'm chatting with you. No okay. estoy chateando. Están de mentiroso. Vaya. Eh, ahora, ahora viceversa. Ahora que ella me diga lo que yo le dije. Y después vamos abajo a responder para, para, para según las imágenes. Dale, pues. Los Ángeles, por, por I am. What Victoria is doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexi Mexico City. Sip, I am. What's Marcus doing? It's, it's 6 a.m. So he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. Where are you and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. Brasilia, 9 a.m. She's going to walk. London, 12 no. Where are you? What, what, what are James and Annie doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's walking. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's person doing? She's he's eating dinner right now. What's Haroshi doing? I'm Tokyo. 9 p.m. What's Haroshi doing? She's watching television. Your city for 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. What are you? Doing, Kevin. Um, I am studying right now English. I am. Vale, vale. Abajo. Ask and answer the question about time. Usted me pregunta la primera y yo le respondo qué está haciendo. Y yo le pregunto la segunda y ya. No, primero le pregunto toda yo y ah, no, o una y una para. No. Vale. Who's sleeping now? 
Um, um, Victoria is... is sleeping right now. Victoria. Sí, hombre. Bye. Two. Number two. Tienes que estar con cosas, hombre. Sucia. Eh, eh, Su Anton, eh, Max, eh, what's Marco wearing? He's wearing pajamas. Eh, Paula. Where is Hiroshi watching television? He is in Tokyo at home. Okay. Uh, Max, um, why are James and Anne having lunch? Because he is noon. Ahí en esa última, ¿qué es lo que pregunta exactamente? Why are James and Anne having lunch? Eh, pregunta, ¿por qué James y Anne están, están comiendo el almuerzo? Ah. Having lunch. Getting, Entonces, ¿qué, getting, ¿qué significa? Es levantarse, levantándose. Ah, bueno. ¿Por qué Marco está? ¿Y entonces cómo sería las siete? En español. Ah, ah porque son las seis de la mañana. No, no, no. Ah, ¿Qué pregunta en las siete? Ah, pregunta que por qué Marco se está levantando. Ah, ok. Eh, who's having breakfast? Ah. Hello class, may I interrupt you, interrupt you for a while? Voy a interrumpirles un minuto. Okay. Christian, Christian Martínez eh, se incorpora a la clase. Entonces, Christian. Hola, hello. buenas tardes. Oh, hello, good evening. Tuve ah. problemas y espero que me ayuden ahí en el resto de la clase. Sí, ahí después puedo llegar muy tarde. Acá lo estamos, lo vamos a poner en antecedentes. Estamos, Christian. Trabajando en la página 33, ¿ok? Entonces, los compañeros están trabajando el presente continuo, continuo con preguntas. Por ejemplo, de, tomando en cuenta lo que se ve en estas imágenes. Ellos okay. hacen la pregunta y usted lee la respuesta que está acá, ¿de acuerdo? Luego, sí. siempre considerando estas imágenes, eh, ellos están haciendo estas preguntas y con la información de las imágenes y estas oraciones están proporcionando una respuesta ¿de acuerdo? Sí. Vaya, entonces chicos pueden comenzar a preguntarle a Chris I have a eh, question yes sir eh, porque yo le decía a Elvia que donde dice where is Andre working yo le decía de que where is Andre working ajá uh -huh, eh, pero me, yo ahí me pregunta dónde está trabajando ajá uh -huh. Entonces yo le dije que en Moscú. Yes, he's working in Moscú, in his office, in his oh, office, no, in, en, his su office oficina, but, en su oficina, en la oficina que está en Moscú, in Moscow, in his uh -huh. office. Ok, that's good. Ok, um, okay. muy bien. Ok, vaya, démosle otra vez, Elvia. Y ahí, Pero, para, para que escuche Elvia. Kevin, eh, perdón, para que escuche Cristian y luego le preguntan a Cristian, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, ok, yes. continúa. Sí. Héctor, tú o yo. ¿Ah? Héctor o yo. Yes. Wearing a, a t-shirt and a green pants. No, no, no. Yes. Jeans or pants? Mm. Mm. Pants. Pants. I say pants. Um, okay. But not a t-shirt, it's a shirt. Uh, ah, cheers or teacher. It's, they, are, they are different because teacher is an informal 
and informal. And a chair is more like a formal. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. And you have the polo, the polo shirt, the polo style shirt, polo shirt. Polo shirt. For example, I would say that Hector is wearing right now a t-shirt. Yes. yes. T-shirt. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Vaya, Paula, what's Andre wearing right now? Andre, Andre. Andre is wearing a um, white t shirt and a blue suit. Only shirt, not t shirt. Shirt. Teacher, white teacher. teacher white t-shirt. Is... T-shirt es camiseta. Shirt. Camiseta. Entonces sería, esta sería shirt porque es, es camisa, ¿verdad? Es camisa. No it's es informal. Form Ajá. It is more formal than t-shirt. Yeah. Uh, entonces sería a white it's shirt. A white shirt. En a blue suit. suit. Ajá, and yes. Tie. Entire. Entire. Hector. Yeah. Hector, what's Sue wearing right now? Sue, Sue, Sue. Um, Sue. Sue wearing. Oh, chill. Green. Um, falda no sé cómo es. Yeah. Skirt. 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 You write it with I, but you read it like an E. Eh. Skirt. Skirt. Mm -hmm. Skirt. Gray. Mini skirt. Gray. <laughs> Porque algo le veo las rodillas ahí. <laughs> this okay? That's okay. It's okay. Paula. Where's first Mac having dinner? Um first man uh, he's here at dinner because it's uh, 7 p.m. And 7 p.m. at the evening or at night Both. Hola. Uh, pienso que las dos. La doba. Porque ella dijo que de las tres y media para allá era evening. Yes. Yes, that's it. Ok. Next. Uh, espérame, que estoy pensando. <laughs> Where is uh, Celia working? She's working in Brazil in a bank. Uh, in a bank. Where is uh, James and Anne having lunch? In a restaurant in London. Okay. Thank you. 
What is Victoria wearing? She's wearing pajamas. Why? Pajamas. Why? Pajamas. Because she's sleeping. She's sleeping right now. Can be there. <laughs> <laughs> Ya casi. Ya casi. <laughs> Finished. Okay. Yes. I'm asking you. Okay. So, Hector, what are you wearing today? Um, Describe wearing... your outfit, the complete outfit. Okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. I am wearing a t-shirt, gray and black. Mm -hmm. um, calzoneta, ¿cómo sería? Ah, uh, shorts. Shorts. Shorts, shorts black. Black shorts. Um, black shorts. Black, ah, ok, ok. Black shorts and um, blue sandals. Ok, excelente. Very well. Paula, what are you wearing today? I'm wearing a white t-shirt. Okay. And a short, a red short. Okay. And I, I don't have shoes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Maximiliano, what are you wearing today? I'm wearing a white t shirt from Germany and a green shirt. And I'm not wearing shoes right now. <laughs> okay, the same <laughs> as because it's very hot, the weather. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Now let's get back to the main session room. Thank you for practicing as much as possible. Okay. Here okay. we go. Let's get back. Now we're going to uh, go over the platform on what we have been practicing. Yes? The listening practice. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer present continuous questions. Additionally, we will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation between a boy and his mother, which illustrates WH questions in context. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Now, let's try to make sense of present continuous WH questions. We will typically use present continuous WH questions whenever we want to get information from an action that is in progress. For example, what are you doing right now? To form WH questions, we need to follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. If we look at the images on the screen, you can see a few WH questions. Let's analyze the first one. What's Victoria doing? We have a WH word, what? Then we have the verb to be is 
after that, we have the subject, Victoria. After that, we have the uh, verb in its ing form. And then we have a question mark. Then, of course, you can see the question being answered. She's sleeping now. Now, we're going to listen to the rest of the questions and answers. Let's listen and repeat. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's What's sleeping. What's Victoria, Victoria doing? She's sleeping. She's sleeping right now. 6 a.m. She's sleeping 6 right now. What's Marcos doing? What's it's Marcos 6 a.m. What's Marcos doing? So he's getting up. It's 6 a.m. Yeah, so he's so getting up. 7 a.m. She's very dumb. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. She's going to work. What are James and Anne doing? It's noon. What are James and Anne doing? They're having lunch. What's Andre doing? He's working. I'm doing working. 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 7 p.m. What's Permsak doing? He's eating dinner What's right now. What's I'm doing? What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching What's television. What's Hiroshi doing? He's He's watching television. Television. What are you doing? It's what are you doing? So I'm... so I'm... The last thing that I would like for you to do is to look at the images again and write questions and answers about them. For example, what's Celia wearing? Celia's wearing a red suit. After you complete this assignment, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so it is time for writing questions, okay? Over here, you click, it is, the content is 5.9 okay did you do it before or no you didn't do it yet no I, uh, ok entonces lo vamos a hacer completar la asignación compartir su trabajo en nuestro foro de discusión entonces hacemos clic acá en añade una discusión 5.9 ok look for 5.9 y van a escribir preguntas así como las que hemos estado eh, trabajando en los breakout rooms, ¿verdad? Esas mismas. ¿Sí? WH questions. For example, what is uh, Celia doing or what uh, wearing? What is um, what's Hiroshi wearing? Okay, what's Hiroshi wearing? Okay, and then you write the questions and the answers over here. And then you save it. Yeah. When you finish, you tell me, okay?
¿Qué pasó? You okay, have to be good. building the questions. Tiene que estar escribiendo las preguntas y agregarlas yeah. acá en el foro. Por ejemplo, what is um, Sue wearing? Y luego, Sue is wearing y le escribe. Hey, Hector, hello. Este, yo después la voy a hacer, solo me dice de qué, como las que aparecen en cuál sección, porque yo el mismo teléfono que ocupo para recibir ah, la clase. ¿Sabe qué? Que... ¿Sabe qué? No, pero puede escribir las preguntas en un cuaderno y luego solo las digita, ¿sí? Ajá, por ejemplo, eh, sería esto en, ya le digo, hey, I'm going to tell you, your... Okay, over here. Por ejemplo, si nos vamos a ubicar con Victoria, let's imagine, okay, you're going to write a question about her. Pero esto sería ya ahí en el foro de discusión, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. Entonces, what's Victoria wearing? What's Victoria wearing? Y la respuesta. She's, uy, she's wearing mm, a white pajama. Yes, because she's sleeping. Okay. Okay. So this, it should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine questions and answers. At least nine, okay? Porque hay unas fotografías, dos fotografías en las que aparecen eh, dos en cada uno. Si gustan escribir about James and another one about Anne, that's okay. Or here Sue and Tom, but at least nine, okay? Pero al menos nueve preguntas con su respuesta. ¿Qué Entonces está vamos diciendo a cómo la... está vestida? Ajá, yes. Ajá, vamos a hacer las preguntas conforme... La imagen. Usando, eh? Sí, correcto. La prenda de vestir que están usando. What's Victoria wearing? She's wearing a white pajama. What's Marcos wearing? He's wearing a red and white pajama. Yes. Ok. Ok. Y la subo al foro de discusión. Ah. Uy. Y eso usted lo va a subir a la plataforma, acá, ¿sí? Al foro de discusión, hace clic en añade una publicación y ahí le va a aparecer, ¿sí? Ok.
you, when you finish, tell me, please, okay? And for yes. Yes. For... Let's see. Remember class, tomorrow we have a, a class too, okay? Recuerden que mañana también tenemos class. Okay. Okay, but hold it. I want to show you your, your grades. Quiero mostrarles acá. Hice dos ahorita, quiero ver si están bien. Okay, read them please. Léalas. Lea sus oraciones, por favor. Me faltan ocho. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, what's Hiroshi wearing? He's wearing a green and white shirt and green pants. Okay. What's Andre wearing? He's wearing a white shirt and a gray tie and a blue suit. Okay. Where is James having lunch? Lunch. He's having lunch at the restaurant in London. Who's having lunch with Anne? He's uh -huh. having lunch with James. So make four. Only five shirts. Yes. Yeah, that's okay. Están bien. Eh, Marlon Ariel no está, ¿verdad? Samuel Alexander tampoco. Eh, José Andrés tampoco. Uh, veamos acá. Giovanni Alberto tampoco sí. está. Y Brandon Antonio tampoco. Los demás vamos bien, pero eh, vamos a seguir trabajando, ¿verdad? Los que no han terminado todavía. Traten de ir trabajando un poquito más en la plataforma, ¿de acuerdo? Porque sí, hay, hay quienes les hace falta bastante. Pero las personas que, que, que no mencioné, pues están muy bien. ¿okay? Entonces, veamos. Eh, como lluvia de ideas. If we say, for example, over here... Uh, <coughs> What's Anne wearing? She's wearing a white blouse, a pink, is this pink? Yes. 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 A pink jacket, yellow earrings, aritos amarillo, ¿verdad? Yellow yes. earrings, and that's it. And yellow earrings, because that is what we see, es lo que nosotros vemos, yes? And yeah. what what is James wearing? He's wearing a, a white shirt, a purple tie, a blue suit, and what and do I we, say? We only we what only what we see, solo lo que vemos. No vayamos a decir color de zapatos ni nada si no lo vemos. Más sin embargo acá. Ah, miren con your city, what are you doing? Ah, pero acá esta sería como la imagen de ustedes, ¿verdad? Yes. Porque es what are you doing, entonces esta la dejamos fuera. In Bangkok, uh, Permsak, what is Permsak wearing? He's wearing a white shirt. A white shirt. Es lo único que podemos decir porque es lo que vemos, ¿verdad? Yes. No le vemos el color de los zapatos ni el pantalón, ¿ya? And what's Celia wearing? She's wearing a red suit. A suit. red suit. And a high heel. High heels and the blouse. And a, green blouse. a kind of green, green blouse. blouse. Kind of green blouse. Okay, very well. So, class, what did you practice today? What was the grammar topic for today? Uh, present, present continuous. continuous and present and continuous questions. And 
Falling mm -hmm. and rising intonation. Uh -huh. yes. Falling and rising intonation. Uh -huh. Did you practice speaking? Yes. yes. Did you practice reading? Yes. Yes. Did you practice listening? Yes. yes. Did you practice writing? Yes. yes. Okay, so you practice the four skills in order to acquire a language. I hope that tomorrow we're going to have more students in class. Espero que mañana tengamos más estudiantes en clases, mañana sábado, que hoy andan, hayan disfrutado el dinero, ¿verdad? El salario, y que no se vayan <laughs> acabado en tomorrow very sad. No, es que yo me quedé dormido. Oh, Eso viene tarde. oh, really? You were really tired. Y quienes y quienes se quedaron haciendo tiempo extra, pues que mañana vengan a la clase porque es necesario que se unan, porque la asistencia cuenta, ¿verdad? Para poder obtener sí. el diploma, ¿sí? Ok, thank you very much for joining to my class. I hope to see you tomorrow. We have a class at 3 p.m., ¿ok? Thank you. Continue mm -hmm. working in the platform and in those sentences, ¿ok? Have okay. a very good evening and see you tomorrow. Bye bye. God see you bless tomorrow. you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Take bye. Care. bye. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Enjoy your evening. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. Christian Eliazar, continue practicing in the platform, okay? Christian, yes. necesito que siga trabajando en la plataforma.